Hey everyone, how are you? How are you? How are you? How is you? I am doing good. This is Nisha Sims World here and I am, I have decided to start a new Sims vlog. Um, like we need another Sims channel. <laughs> Yay! Um, so I have decided to do this. I've been wanting to do it for quite a long time. And um, I've been playing Sims since they were stick people. How many of you remember that? Raise your hand. Woohoo! I knew I did. I was one. I love the Sims when they first came out. I love them. Um, even though they were stick people, it was just still amazing to me. Myself and my sister, we played and played and played and you know, they came up with one, they came up with Sims 2, 3, 4, ta-da, 4 is awesome. 4 is more realistic. I've been playing Sims 4 and it seems like that the people who have really, really have a mind of their own. And so it's just amazing at what they do. Um, so I have started this channel and I hope that you all follow me. I hope that you all like what you see. If you have any suggestions, then please let me know. Um, this is my first time doing it. And I went in here one day and I saw that there was this new city up here. I know many of you have already seen it. New Crest, I was like, ah, a new city. And it was, excuse this stuff popping up. But, um, I saw that, you know, new crest, I was like, it's a blank city, you can do anything, sky is the limit, so I was like, okay, now is the time for me to record my video, so here I am, and these are the mods that I'm going to be using, so I have the go to work uh, expansion pack, and I put in all of these mods here, as you can see, I have lots and lots of mods. Um, the thing, I I was skeptical at first about putting mods in here because I didn't want to mess my computer up. But I found that putting mods in here really, really helps. And so, as you can see, I'm going to be doing in this series is going to be for New Crest, the new city. And um, I am going to do a series on preparing New Crest for the move moving my sims from the previous city that I have in Willow Creek over to Newcrest and then we will I will do testing on each career I have the uh, mother who is a doctor the father is a detective or cadet one of those I think I believe a detective and then the kid is going to school and so I have the go to school mod and so I want to test these things out and show everyone how they work and see if the mods work in it. Do some reviews on the mods, um, if they're working and things like that. And so, um, I love Zerbu and Simple, Simple, Simply Creation, and um, just some other mods that I've been finding that have been really, really helpful. But like I said, these are the mods that I have. Um, I always have this screen up because when I put a new mod in, I want to make sure that it's in this list here. Um, some of these mods have been very helpful. Like this is the no spoiling here. No spoiling. This is for your food. So it, it either spoil, doesn't spoil or it spoils less. So you have the fish no doesn't spoil, the no spoil at all, and then the food doesn't spoil. It takes a longer time to spoil. So I found that when putting this mod in here, I found that it's about... Um, let me turn this down to make sure you all can hear me. Okay. So I want to turn it all the way down. Okay. I found that uh, putting these mods in here, I found that they're very helpful. I found for the no spoiling food mod that my food can last up to 19 hours on some of them. I haven't really been cooking too much because I've been using the cheat for the make me happy, which naughty naughty, some cheats just make you lazy. <laughs> and I admit, you know, I, I do get lazy with the game sometimes because it's like it's easier to use the cheat for to make them happy, you know, than to go through the process of making them go to sleep, especially when you're doing the retail store. So in this game, I will also be doing the retail store. So they're going to have their jobs. Kids going to go to school and I'm also going to be doing the retail. So, um, 
turn it down too low. <laughs> okay, so I have here the mother's a doctor, so I have add more staff. The thing I have not found with this mod yet, it works good. Um, I'm grateful to Zerbu for, or I'm grateful to, uh, I believe it was Simply Caress that made this. It was Simply Caress or Cyber Ops. Um, I have it in my description box below. So forgive me if I'm quoting the wrong person. But um, I have these. All these mods here are in my description box. All of these mods are in my description box. And so um, this one, it has to add more staff, which they do come. They come to the hospital to add more staff. But I found that um, they don't help. They sit around and they talk. So this one still... I have to figure this one out. <laughs> we can go and talk to them and interact with them, but they don't help in terms of seeing patients, admitting patients, and things like that. It seemed when I first put the mod in, they were doing good, and now they, they seem like they're, um, now they just seem like they just stand around. So have to figure that one out. This 12-hour workday works really good. Their workday for her, for the doctor, she can be at work at 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., so 12 hours. Um, so this one works great by CyberOps. CyberOps, again, free retail perks. This one is awesome because where you have to work for all those perks in your retail store, they're all free here. So this one is superb. I definitely recommend that you download this mod here. The telescope mod, Esmeralda Telescope T's S2 conversion. This works great if you just don't want the big observatory in your home or in your school or whatever. This one allows you to have those same options for the observatory. And so that works great. Also, the doors, I've seen different tublers, tumblers, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, people asking, how can I lock the doors? And so this um, door lock mod, and I also have this mod in my description box, so you can download it below. Um, below in my description box below. Um, on being able to lock the doors. Um, keep the doctors at the hospital. I found when I first started using this mod here. This was before they came out with Newcrest. So I'm still new testing these mods in Newcrest. So hopefully, um, you know, trying to see if everything works. So this is preparing. I guess this video will be on preparing Newcrest for the move and testing mods to make sure they work. Um, and so this one, I found that when I first used it, the doctor, as soon as she talked to the doctor, they would just change their clothes and go home, and a new set of doctors would come in. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to work, but they don't help either. So it's like the, the woman that I made, the mother, she's doing all the work herself. She can usually so far see, I got her to where she can work a little bit faster, and she can see at least two patients in the hospital. Uh, this notebook here, this allows you to be able to have access on a notebook that you give your Sims, your children, or your adults, or teens, or whoever. And it's just like them being on the computer. So whatever options they have to write on the computer, practice things, you have the same option here. Excuse me, with this notebook. This one here I probably will not use, which is, um, I have it in here because my sister, when we play and we compete and yes we find a way to compete in sims it's ironic but we do find a way to compete in sims <laughs> who's gonna get done faster who has the most kids i don't like to have that many kids but my sister does so this one is to help you to be able to have multiple babies you can choose how many babies you want one two or three and this is the mod for three you can only pick one mod so you can't pick you know, you can't download all three. You have to download only one, and I, d I chose triplets. This one, I'm still trying to figure out. I have it in here, and I looked in the store. I guess first I need to recognize this mod here is to help you to have um, aspiration traits within your reward store. I guess I need to know what are the aspiration traits to even see if these mods work. Um, so that, I'll have to get back on you on this one, is awesome. By Simpsico Creations, faster homework. They finish their homework extremely fast. That's awesome. This one, also awesome. 
um, and once you mix this one here the faster retail actions with the mod for uh, re re retail perks and you give them the stocking uh, mods it works awesome they stock they do everything so fast in the retail stores that makes it so much better you know I still haven't um, tried tried it with the customers because I keep starting over I don't know how many of you start over but I keep starting over and so I haven't really been able to test this out with customers but so far it works awesome in terms of her just stocking and everything by herself so this is the go to school mod um, the sim generator student generator one um, Zerbu had this one in there before um, they not, they're not going to be working on it anymore and so um, they decided to Zerbu decided to take it out and so it stated that if you still have it I believe there's still a download for it but if you still have it then you can um, go ahead and put that in there and so um, like I said the links are below and then this one for the go to school mod you're going to either need the venue pack list mod pack or the ambient and I chose the venue for your schools to work and show up and so I'm going to do some testing and see how this goes with the venue for Newcrest if it's not working then I might take this out and try it with the ambient pack and see if that will make the school register because I was having some trouble um, getting things going but I decided to start afresh so I can re-record this video and do some different things so I can show you all actually what I was doing what challenges I was having with the mods working in the new city also the script mod these are a little bit different than the regular mods so you can turn on your options for this to show this is the door lock mod and it came with the script um, so I'm going to show you how to allow that to show you come up here to your options menu and you're going to go right here to game options and then you're going to come here to other and make sure that this is checked script mods is checked to enable your script mods and so that will allow you to be able to see that in your settings you click apply changes and then you go about your business and that'll show every single time um, let me see there's uh okay okay I, I was I keep thinking that I forget that this Sims 4 is set up a little bit differently than Sims 3 Sims 3 you can have a little bit more control of the people that you play and all these sorts of things and how long they live and Sims 4 you have a little bit less a little bit more limitations and what you can do and so um, and so that's that on that part so let's go in like cupcakes woohoo I know I like cupcakes I don't know about y'all but I love me some cupcakes okay okay I tried that machine that cupcake machine it works awesome I put it in my bakery in the retail store and I'm still trying to figure out how to make my retail store function I have people come in the retail store because I usually like to have my clothing and furniture downstairs and I'll show you all how I built that out I'm gonna just do everything from scratch so you all can see what I did this is my first city when I put everything together Willow Creek here and um, these are my people that I'm going to be moving over to Newcrest I have already gone in and I um, I've already gone and you know as a matter of fact I may just move over some new people because I that way I can show you all how I um, and I can even separate it into separate videos if you all want um, just let me know put a comment down below and I'll show you how I I um, took all their experience and I I gave them the cheat code so that they have they have all the experience and different things like that they have everything they're maxed out in skills so I can show you that video separately down below for the children 
um, just give me a, leave me a comment below and I'm, I may just put the video up but this is their retail store here and it's owned by the Boswells this is the Boswells the dad as I said is a detective the mom is um, a doctor and the son is going to be going to school and these are the schools that I laid down here in uh, Carver Elementary here this is a school I went to and they knocked it down I was like oh you know knock down memories it was sad but they built up a, another school in that area so it was it was something but this is the elementary school here and this is the this is the um, high school here so let's get moving on over to I went in here you all and I saw this I was like wait a minute there was a shift I said oh there's a four circle I said new crest oh I was so stoked when I saw this. I texted my sister. I said, hey, we got new crush. She said, I know. I just haven't been in there. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to get this done. Let's get this going. <laughs> so I went in and I had cities and everything here. I mean, I had buildings and everything in here. And I called myself setting it up. And I was like, forget it. You know, I said, um. I said, forget it. You know, I'm just going to erase it and redo it because I didn't want to record and do voiceovers separately because I have to go back and remember what I said and what was going to be coming next. I said, forget it. Just let me do everything. So this is Newcrest and there's three neighborhoods. This neighborhood has a 40 by 30 lot, one 40 by 20 lot and three 30 by 20 lots here. This neighborhood has a two 30 by 20 lots, two 20 by 15 lots, and one 40 by 30 lot. This lot here, I love this neighborhood here. This neighborhood has 50 by 1, 50 by 40, uh, I believe two 40 by 30, one 30 by 30, and one 30 by 20. And so what I'm going to do first is... What I'm going to do first is let's prepare um, this city to play. So what I want to do first is I, I'm going to set here. Um, I believe I had right here a, a, a park. So I want to put a park and then I had a swim day park here. So let me go back in and hopefully I saved it and I don't have to start completely over. So I'm just going to show you all what I did from scratch. I may just go and make the people so I can show you how I do everything. This is my name here. If you all um, want to come in and friend me, just click friend. Just click friend. Just click friend, click friend, click friend. I have one follower, you all. That's my sister. So yay. Because I, I haven't done anything on here in the community or anything. These are different places that I've taken and I've built up or uploaded or changed and so um you know i'm still trying to figure this out because i upload things i've built this is a business retail business that i built with a living space down below that i can't seem to my sister can't seem to pull up in the community lot and so um if i'm doing anything wrong then please let me know how i can get my buildings and things to show up here in the community lot because she can't see them and so I don't know if there's something else I need to do so please comment below to let me know what I'm, I need to do because I'm new to this stuff and I'm trying to get um, more into the Sims vlogging world <laughs> so this is um, good the ones that I saved are in here I see them so this is the um, I'm going to be using for that 50 by 40 lot. I'm going to put down the new crest dragon park. This is awesome. So I'm going to put this down. Um, usually I, they have things here in this area. This is by P A O G A E. This is the lot that I'm going to be using for my 50 by 40, the new crest dragon park. And as you can see, um, it's a great little park. Um, I may add a few more things in here. It's I'm um, the um, Peoge. Uh, excuse me. I hope I'm not butchering your name. Um, this is a wonderful park. Um, some things I just like to add in. 
I'm not going to do it yet because I don't know what I want to add in. But this is a, a wonderful park here. And um, you see all this stuff in here. This thing is nice. So, um, yeah, so this is one. I'm going to place this down here. What I found in this lot, and I'll show you all. I'll, I'll go through everything, and I'll show you any complications that I have, how I go about fixing any problems that I have. You can put this lot down furnished or unfurnished. Um, I always go furnished because it saved me time on doing things. And so I'm going to place the lot. And then it always takes you into the lot so that you're able to get to where you need to be. La 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 Sometimes this traveling takes a long time. You guys have to excuse me because sometimes my brain just is like over in la la land and I can do some silly stuff. So if I if I get caught up doing some silly stuff, you all just laugh with me. This is going to be fun, fun, fun. So, yeah, we're going to have fun with this. And so the only thing I like sometimes is the length of travel when I'm in the build mode. But, hey, we got to be patient, right? And you should be getting finished any moment now. Let's go, let's go. La, 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 la. Look like it's about done now. Okay. Now we come to some things because some people use some custom content. So some items will be removed. Every time I see this, I find that whatever they removed is not necessarily, um, it is not necessarily anything that's major because I don't ever notice anything wrong or moved or different something that I didn't want so it's normally good now what I found is in order for these lots to register there should be information up here like it should say park where you can zone up here it says it here but sometimes I like to make sure so um this lets you know of the store items that you that you're designated for so I like to sometimes go back out to the community or to the the main world change the lot zone it'll take me inside and then I can change it again now I know this is how you have to do it sometimes with the school buildings um, and the retail store so that it registers in the neighborhood because sometimes when you download them they don't show up or they don't work properly and for me I found that this has been the problem that the lot zoning hasn't registered properly so it takes a little bit more time going in here and setting things up you know having to do all this waiting I'm waiting I'm waiting <laughs> but it's better to get it all set up while we go okay so sometimes I like to come in you see that it said um park here so sometimes I like to change the lot zone so that I can go back in and make sure everything is working properly let's just do generic and then click yes okay okay and sometimes I like to change the lot zone and then I go back in and make sure that it registers. Because I don't know how it'll show on the park if it'll show this information up here. But I know on the school it's supposed to show that information up there to let you know that it was, it's working correctly, that it, it registered correctly. So. Expensive cameras have more sizing options for photos as well as ability to zoom. One thing I that's really amazing to me, maybe I have to put a camera in there um, in the inventory because on the camera, when he took a camera on his phone, I had the kid go to school, took a cam picture of the camera on his phone and you were able to change um, the filters on there. You're able to 
pick okay see this is what I was talking about here you're able to pick different things on the camera so I might be get them a more expensive camera so when you go into the lots here you should be able to once it registers into the neighborhood you should be able to click in here and change the name of it you should be able to change the lot zoning here so when you change it to the park now as you saw this wasn't here before now it is and it's allowing me to change my park items and so I have um, five bathrooms only needed one I needed one sink I have five um, needed two benches she put six um, they put six I needed one chest and there's three there's two monkey bars needed one there's one ten patio tables needed one thirty two outside patio chairs needed four and one jungle gym that's done okay so now let's go back to the neighborhood so our park is ready I'm not going to go and add in anything um, I'm not going to do anything to this because it's just the way it is. You see the bathrooms, one, two, three, four, five. The bathrooms. And this is the park here. And again, this is the uh, new Chris Dragon Park. Second level, third level. As a matter of fact, let me show you all here. So they have little toys and things look like in here. This is out. <clears throat> excuse me. This is outside of the park area here. And they have little things in here for the kids to play with. So if your kids get lost in the park, look in here because they're probably up in here playing. I'm just saying, you know, they're probably in one of these levels playing around. If your kids get get um, lost, and so the dragon. So yeah, it's a nice park. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. And so this is the thing that I don't like because when I'm going and putting things down and I keep changing and I mean the more you lay down, then I do that every time to make sure it registers. And so um, it takes a little bit more time, but I like to make sure that everything is good. So now I'm going to put in, um, I had a swim spa here. Hopefully I can put down the one that I had already modified a little bit. Um, I just added some more tables because I like to make sure that there's enough room for everybody. Not that you might get more people, but I like to make sure that there's enough room and the people that created these buildings and parks and things like that are awesome. They did an awesome job. I just like a little bit more on mine is all. Okay, so now I want to put down my... Um, it's like a small type thing. Um, Here we go. It's one here. And there was one that I had changed already. So I don't know if it's in here. But anyhow, I'll come and do this one so that I can show you what I what I added. And this is a uh this is very nice here also. Very, very nice swim park here with the jacuzzis and the toys here so I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one by KTEJJ and um, I'm gonna have, go ahead and place this lot back over here in this 40 by 30 furnished and again you can do furnished and unfurnished I'm gonna do furnished 